Hi guys, today we will look into the scenario where Austria-Hungary reforms the Austro-Hungarian Empire in 2022. 100 in, 100 in about two years since, 100 in four years since the collapse of Austria-Hungary. Hungary and Austria have reunited in the Austro-Hungarian Austro Empire. Troops in the Austrian part that just joined go on the Czech border. Hungarian troops enter into the Hungarian part of Slovakia, claiming they are there to protect Hungarians. And then they invade. And this goes pretty swiftly, they invade. So swiftly that within days, Slovakia is completely overrun. All these troops that were in, in Slovakia moved to the main front. And quickly, they do this. Slovenia refuses annexation. They have troops ready for in case Croatia declares war. Troops enter Slovenia from the north east and they push to the southwest. And they're about to take the country over when Croatia decides to join the war. So troops that were ready for this in case this happened were ready. And quickly they take Zagreb. And this. And then they push down into Dalmatia. And then they annex both these nations because both of these nations were formerly a part of Austria-Hungary. And now, sign an alliance with Bulgaria, and they both invade Serbia and Bosnia. Very little progress is made in Vojvodina. They push them to there. And at this time, this is when Serbia needs to withdraw troops. Because Bulgaria starts its offensive into the south. With this. Well, Serbia is kind of screwed. And now they push into like parts of Serbia that aren't in Vojvodina. This is what they occupy. When the Bulgarian campaign starts getting bigger. Serbia surrenders at this point. Now a peace treaty is drawn up in this area. Austria-Hungary annexes these lands. Bulgaria annexes these lands. Austria, Hungary annexes that. Bulgaria officially signs a pact with Austria, Hungary. Austria, Hungary makes a puppet out of Serbia. And then they ask Romania for these lands and an ultimatum demanding these lands. Which, to no one's surprise, they refuse. Austria Hungary then declares war. Bulgaria doesn't join right away because they're mobilizing. 
By the time they draw defenses in the mountains, the Carpathian Mountains, their defense is quickly broken by the Bulgarians entering their territory. The law troops are pulled back. Then the defensive line breaks in the mountains. And so they start somehow going fast through the mountains of Transylvania, the Carpathian Mountains. Bulgaria takes away the coast, and then Romania surrenders. And tr the Treaty of Bucharest is signed. Bulgaria takes these lands in North Duborosia. Austria, Hungary takes these lands. Romania split in two. Moldavia is gave to Moldova. And they make a puppet in Moldavia. Bulgaria annexes its lands. And the puppet state is made there. Known as the Bulgarian Empire. The third Bulgarian Empire. An ultimatum is sent to Ukraine demanding these lands in return for anything they want, but Ukraine refuses. Which is a very bad decision for Ukraine. Who knew Ukraine could be bullied on two fronts? Four fronts, if that was earlier in the war. Russia occupying these lands in Ukraine. Approximately. Austria, a uh, Hungary starts to push into Ruthenia, which goes to success, and then they push up. Bulgaria cap surrounds Odessa and then captures the city. Russia pushes to here, taking Mykolov, because Ukraine is reorganizing its troops. They take Servo Donetsk. They quickly push and take Kharkiv. They start pushing the hair of the Austro-Hungarians. And then they start pushing to there. Ukraine agrees to the Treaty of of Budapest. In which these lands are ceded to Austria-Hungary in return for weapons and money to help fight the Russians. Before we leave this front, they take back Mokrovlia and they start to push towards Kharkiv. And then back to a stalemate. This might make Russia's chances of right now in this universe higher. Who knows? And now we'll leave this war and check out what if they invaded Poland. Germany decides to join too to take back some old imperial lands. And they do this. And at this moment... Belarus gets involved, quickly taking these lands.
with Austro-Hungarian and German forces working around this area. And they start pushing like this. Eventually this is captured and they're about to take Warsaw. And then Poland surrenders. And then they sign the Treaty of Berlin. In which these lands are ceded from Poland to Germany. And then Austria-Hungary gains these lands. Belarus gains these lands. And with that, Poland has made a puppet state of Austria-Hungary. Germany becomes, signs a treaty, and this is called the Central European Alliance. Austria-Hungary sends an ultimatum to Italy demanding South Tyrol. Italy surrend refuses because, well, Italy can't give up that much land and expect its people to be happy. And Austria-Hungary starts a quick push into northern Italy, encircling Venice. They take Venice, and then they start pushing to try and split this country in two. And this is where Italy surrenders. And after Italy has surrendered, well, Austria-Hungary is stronger. They take these lands. Italy left weak. And this is what would happen if Austria-Hungary reformed an empire, the Austro-Hungarian Empire in 2021. I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. And thanks for watching. The end.